What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy. What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy. I go by the name of Uma Boots. If you don't know me by now, um, yeah. So, guys, as you can see from today's title or today's video, um, it is actually something that happened today. Uh, guys, um, before we get into the video, I'd like to say, Witty, you know, um, my journey to accepting my sexuality or what I am and everything about Omabuto in general has been a long, hard and tricky one because guys, literally it's not easy, you know, uh, accepting yourself because for initially you're gonna ask yourself, oh, it's okay, why is this happening to me? Um, why am I so different? You know, like it's a story for another day. But just today is not like about that. Um, I feel like there's like it, there needs to be a whole conversation about that in my upcoming videos because we are, we're here to stay, girl. We, we're not going anywhere, sis. Anyway, um, yeah, man, uh, let's just get straight into the video. During class today, um, actually it was yesterday, guys. It was yesterday. I planned to do the video yesterday, but then some, there were like difficulties, you know. Um, anyway, we're here. We're here today. So, um, what happened was uh, we were in like, for some of you that who don't know, I am... Um, studying in um, the Vow University of Technology in the engineering faculty. Um, so we were in one of my, like this class is called, um, what is it called? <laughs> it's, uh, it's Workplace Dynamics. That's the name of the module, okay? So um, Workplace Dynamics, basically, let me give you a brief of what's it, what it's all about. Um, so it's it's workplace dynamics. So it's it's the dynamics that a person will encounter in the working environment, so that you can be like they're basically teaching you of all the things that you should be aware of and so you can be comfortable and everything. Like that's just like what it's all about. It's a fun class, guys. It's an interactive class. You know, there's lectures who who don't just come to class and you know talk and talk and talk. It's literally an inter interactive interactive class. Um, because we communicate, we our opinions are phased out. Like literally, it just wants they just want to see how you think. Even the way they test, like the you know the tests and exams, it's you know it's based on. They just trying to see your thinking capabilities. That is all it's all about. I enjoy the class. Even my marks show. I mean, <laughs> it was last semester. It was my second highest mark in all of my modules. I was doing more seven. A semester so this is this semester i'm doing five uh, anyway so um today's topic let me fetch this book hold on 12 seconds later all right like this is the book y'all it's human resources in south africa it's the fifth edition if you know so literally it's what was okay this is the chapter so to, the topic was diversity you know so diversity for some of you who don't know what diversity is where is this chapter 12 seconds later diversity diversity is um any collect any collective mixture characterized by differences similarities and related um tensions and complexities okay so there are a lot of like ways in which like people can be discriminated or you know diversity not used in used you know to manipulate people obviously so there are let, let me do this there is hiv and aids there's oh my gosh i'm a whole mess women women uh population groups and we came to this part where it talks about sexual or affectional orientation so literally it's the lgbtq let's see what the law says okay south africa's um oh my gosh i'm having trouble saying like guys you know the light is too much south africa's um democratic transition not only brought um an end to formal apartheid it has also oh, why do you hold the test like that there's also um watershed period that four rights around sexual orientation in the country. The South African constitution outlaws discrimination or on the bias of the sexual orientation. You know, the procession is ex extended to the workplace by means of EEA, which means Employment Equity Act, to acknowledge sexual orientation and prohibited um, amongst grounds of discrimination and in the ILO, I don't know what ILO means. 
discrimination. Okay. However, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, LGBTI employees will experience high level of prejudice, discrimination, and harassment in the working environment, which is disgusting, you know, the all the homophobic shit. So then a question was raised in class by the lecturer. He was like, so how do you act if you placed with the gay person in the working environment, you know? So as I said, guys, earlier, like, well, it's a very um, interactive class, so your opinions matter because everyone is entitled to their own opinions at, opinions at the end of the day. So this guy, this other guy, people, okay, can I just say, we see a certain number of people in class know who I am and what I am, you know? So I hate it when people uh, don't interact in class because uh, they have fear or would say, okay, my what's the thing, you know? Uh, because people don't want to raise their hands or ask questions or face out their opinions because they know I'm a very, guys, I'm a very opinionated person. Like, I, yo, I speak my mind, yo, it's no wonder they intimidated because like I talk, like, I, I talk, okay? So this guy was like, uh, he's gonna be uncomfortable. Why are you gonna be uncomfortable? Um, what if he hits on me? And Jay, I wouldn't be able to work in this, like the same working environment that person because you know, I'm gonna be uncomfortable. Okay, cool, whatever. And then there was someone else, okay? Good, okay, thank you. Next, like the next idiot, okay? I'm saying it because I'm very biased and you know, this is all this is all me okay so this guy guys she's from congo um for some people who don't know congo they don't tolerate gay people uh they are harassed and they're treated like guys it's inhumane it's 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 bad you know um so literally uh he was like i hate gay people he said he hates gay people and we're out there like uh oh, okay okay you know and then all of a sudden I, like i was so heated inside um i was so disgusted honestly okay first of all hate is a very strong word you know um that's just homophobic guys come on it is homophobic and it's so um refreshing to see how uh the reaction was from like my my colleagues colleagues whatever you know, uh, so my fellow uh, classmates, like they were also disgusted. You'd see like from their actions because guys, it's so like nice to see how South Africa has grown or South African youth has grown to understand, you know, but this is something that is there. No matter what you do, homosexuality is is there. Like you can't run away from the fact that it's there. It's going to be, it has been there and it's going to be there in the next 50, 100, it's going to be there. Like and it's everywhere you know you can't run away like we can't take the f away that and um they were so um disgusted of what he said because it's disgusting okay so right there and then they some of them were looking at me because they wanted to see how i was going to react and they knew that i had to say something and i knew also that i had to say something but i just didn't know what i was going to say but i had to say something because i, I owed it to myself to say something because this is who i am this is not culture this is everything that like guys i had to speak for myself i had to speak for maybe that 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 guy in the in the closet that gay guy in the closet who's not out yet that lesbian girl who's you know not out yet or i had to speak for the lgbtq like i had to speak for my people and that most importantly i had to get my point across the room because I, that's what i'm known as for guys like i now I speak my mind y'all so he was talking he hated like he will never work with a gay person he just doesn't he, he straight up beat a gay person i'm like <sighs> anyway um so i was like i had to say something i raised my hand did i know what i, wanna, what I was gonna say no i did not know what i was gonna say but i knew i had to say something so my hand was up like sis your hand is up which is cute but what the hell are you gonna say you know so I raised my hand and then, okay, the lecturer pointed at me and was like, okay, sir, what do you have to say? And I had nothing to say, guys, but I, I had to think of something fast. The first thing that I said for disclosure, this is exactly what I said, for disclaimer, not disclosure, for disclaimer, guys, um, I'm gay, you know? And I feel like sir didn't know me because he was like, he started lecturing me last semester, which is 
you know, last semester. And he didn't know that I was gay. I don't know why, because I don't know. Actually, we're not friends, so that's why we don't know. <laughs> we're not friends. And he was like, he paused for a minute. He was like, you, sir, are gay? I was like, you heard me right, sis, okay? Um, so yeah, I was like, yeah, I said, I'm gay. And I'd like to address these two gentlemen. These two confused idiots, okay? These two com obviously I'm gonna be biased, guys, come on. So I started with the one who said he wasn't comfortable. Let's call him number one. And then I don't call, call him Congolese because he's from Congo, okay? Not, not, not being racist or anything. Just saying, okay? I'm just saying. So I started with the one, number one. I was like, okay, first things first, guys. Let me tell you something. Let me educate you all, guys. You cannot be uncomfortable around a confident gay man. What does that mean if you're comfortable? It means um, you seeing him, it, you're not comfortable or, with your sexuality. This is exactly what I said. I told her with the lecture and the whole class, you could see, immediately a person feels uncomfortable around a strong, confident gay person. It simply means you are not comfortable en enough with your own sexuality because it shouldn't threaten you whatsoever. Why? Why should it threaten you? Because immediately that happens, just know. So ladies, if your men act weird around a gay man, honey, run. Don't look back because he's gay. Next, number two. Okay, first things first. Why do I keep on saying first things first? With this situation, because I understand, because he's from, okay, I understand and I expect him to do the same, you know. With him, he's from a complete different country where they haven't, like, it's taboo to be gay, you know, which is quite sad. Um, and I heard a good thing, you have to hide yourself around in public because you're going to get harassed, you're going you're gonna to be mistreated and all that. I understand where he comes from, but since he chose to pack his bag and come to South Africa, you better get used to the laws and understand what's happening here because you have to adapt. It's like going to a new school, guys. You can't go to a school and make your own rules. You have to oblige, ob ob obey the rules that are happening there, okay? You can't come and like get with the program. All you have to do is just get with the program, okay? So, and this was one point I made, you could see. Hold on. Another point that I made in class, and I hope they heard me, I said, most people who are homophobic, who are homophobic, are gay. Simple. You, even if you're watching this, I am sorry whether you're straight. Okay, let's not, let's not go there. If you are a, a straight man, I'm doing this because you're not straight. Um, you can't be straight and homophobic, you know. I feel like homophobic guys, uh, when they're same as those who are unsure about their sexuality and not com are not sure enough of what they are. Same, it's the same thing, like guys, it's the same thing. You can't not be uh, homophobic unless you are also gay. And you, when you see a confident gay person walking past you, it triggers something that you are hiding, you know? The reason why people are homophobic or hate on gay people is because they're living their true, real, true reality that you are, are hiding, you know? Something, it's something that you're hiding that you don't want people to see and you see this person acting away and you're trying to prove your masculinity by attacking this person so that you can be seen as man enough do you understand that was a whole that was a mouthful that was a mouthful let me tell you a story guys a little story i was when i was like around it kind of we used to move a lot you know we used to move a lot when i was around um grade five i think i was 11 um i used to play with girls like guys i used to play with girls and I was happy. I was a happy child. And I used to, like, guys, playing was my thing, you know. Skipping rope, I was there. Like, I staring. Everyone was, like, wanted to be, me to be in their, you know, group or, you know, when we were, like, playing, opposing each other. Everyone wanted me because I was good, okay. There was this guy who had a problem with me because every time he'd come around, he'd say words and that are just not nice, you know call me stabane you know this you know guys all the words that are disgusting and then um long story short um years later I, we moved out of that um moved out of that um community not because of the guy no honey you are not that who that i can't just pack my bags because no no so we went to a different same to a different part 
outside of Indau. I don't know if you know Kindra's guys. On the other side of Indau, you know. He texted me on Facebook. He was like, hey, um, where are you? I'm passing by your house. Are you around? I'm like, yes, yes, come through, you know. He came through and then he... When I see my friend, guys, like, you know, and you're like, I'm not your friend, sis. Keep your distance, you know, get, 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 get out of my space, you're invading my privacy, what do you want? You were so mean to me, what the fuck do you want, like, what, what more do you want from me, you know? And long story short, we, 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 got, we got along, you know, but we're not friends anymore now. We got along and he used to come visit me and then this one time he told me, see, the reason he was so, because I couldn't ignore it, I was like, why are you so mean to me? He was like, the reason I was so mean to you, because um, I saw you living your true, li your true self, Whilst I also am gay, yeah, you see, while I'm also gay, I'm also gay, but then I couldn't, like, show my feelings or show, I couldn't be, I wasn't as free as you were, so that got it to me, because, you know, and that's why I started, like, saying the things I was saying to you, and I'm really sorry. So, what I'm saying, guys, Wuti, those people, ne, it's so sad, because you are trying so hard to to be in a shell and once you see people who are living their true self you feel some type of way that's why i say you could see and it's proven homophobic people are gay so even homo if you're homophobe you are gay. okay yeah so literally guys i am can i just say which i am so proud of myself of um how far i've come um i mean like five years back or five years like i wish i was like i was the same person as i am now in high school as confident as i am now as i was in in high school as I am now because I feel like my life would have been like way better because I didn't have a lot of friends in high school because no one wanted to associate with me or whatever because like no one like people were unsure you know of what was what, happening with me but like now which is like five years when did I finish high school 2016, 2017, 2018, 2018. four years down the line I'm able to speak out in class and literally tell the whole class so would say listen I am gay and this is that, you know, this is this and this is that, honestly, um, so yeah, I hope um, you guys enjoyed today's video, I thought I should share this, you know, it is so, I am so proud of myself, yo, I am so proud of myself, I've come a long way since this, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys, um, do share your comments on the comment section, we all have our own opinions, come on, and if you feel what you know, He's talking bullshit. By the way, I, I, facts. I speak facts only, okay? Not honest. Anyway, um, do like the video if you liked the video. You know, just give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And yeah, guys, like, keep the conversation going on the comments and I'll try as hard as I, I will respond because I'm not popping it. Okay, why did I say I'll try? Oh my gosh, you all up here. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, sir.